Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Reverend Eileen Ross, Minister of Linwood Parish Church in Linwood in Renfrewshire. Thank you. Thank you, Presiding Officer, for the invitation to come here today. When you come through the door at Linwood Parish Church, the first thing that you'll see is a welcome mat, and it reads, Welcome to Linwood Parish Church. Our church is a small congregation of mainly older people, but more than 80 people gather every Sunday. A small weekly prayer group prays for wide-ranging issues by requests from all over the world and for particular needs. A weekly cafe and a monthly tabletop sale offer a place to meet and to make friends while also providing a service to the community. Church activities and the involvements of individual members support local, national and international efforts to help families, young people, adults and older adults. I could tell you much more, of course, and it's inevitable that much more could always be done. But Linwood Church, like many others, continues to face challenges. In recent years, the town of Linwood has seen regeneration of schools and housing, sports facilities and shopping facilities. And many people have formed community groups, including people of faith. And countless volunteer hours are given to see good things happen for Linwood and its people. What motivates them? Unexpectedly, while I was thinking about what to say today, I found these words of Alistair McIntosh, a Scottish writer and broadcaster and activist on social, environmental and spiritual issues. Spirituality is the bedrock of community. Behind many community activists is a strong, if silent, spirituality. Do you recognise that in your constituency? Or where you live? Or where you work? Do you think spirituality makes a difference? And if so, how? Belief in and a desire for the regeneration of our Christian spirituality led Lindwood Parish Church in 2015 to join the Church of Scotland's Path of Renewal pilot scheme, which aims to help churches reflect and to consider new approaches to church life. The emerging pattern resonates strongly for me with Raymond Fung's short book, The Isaiah Vision. In the prophet's vision of community restored, young and old find fulfillment and live out their days in fullness of life. People do not labor in vain, but enjoy the fruits of their labor. It's a vision that encompasses babies, children, young people, people of working age and older people, a vision that surely we can all share. Living together in common humanity, a vision that is underpinned by a strong, if silent, spirituality. I wonder if you see spirituality as the bedrock of your community, or your constituency, or where you live, or where you work. I wonder if you think that makes a difference, and if so, how? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>